Hello and welcome to Titan Quest. We are today going to be going over uh, some of the basic and less uh, obvious uh, commands and things you can do as, uh, as things in, to throughout your game. And uh, we will get started. Our uh, first one I just wanted to point out here is that you can actually get stuck when you are um, using your waypoint when you come back. So just uh, go ahead and um, if that happens, you can just hit the waypoint again. Or um, actually, you um, are actually stuck. So uh, you will have to go ahead and. Uh, um, go ahead and uh, go back. And depending on how far you are, and you can check this out by looking at your map. And the nice thing about this map is that you are, uh, it is a continuous map. You never have to reload. So you can go ahead and look to see how far it is. And there is it look to see how look to see how far it is and um, but the easiest way to fix that is we are going to just restart and um, we're going to resume the we're going to exit the menu and we're going to um, re, uh, re, uh, for the game. So I will be back after I get back to our, uh, spot that I was before and it'll be just a minute. Welcome back. We are actually a little before what we did before, but I wanted to show you something useful. And so we are going to use our portal stone, which you can find up here in the right hand corner underneath your little, uh, your mini map and you can go ahead and uh, click on it and then you click on the portal and then you click on your choice you have um, any portal you have before you can go back to so uh, we are going to go to uh, the uh, to the arcanist which will sell you scrolls and you have different choices of scrolls right now we have the Breaking Wheel, which sends a full of blades in all directions. Arcane Power, which opens a conduit of pure energy that um, grants control, improved control over mystical powers. Um, and that's more for uh, someone who has elemental damage and energy regeneration and casting speed, which we don't. And we have Scroll of Storms, uh, which is which is a uh, which is a scroll that does um, storm witches har powerful harpies, which uh, have hundred health, five hundred health, and thousand energy, and they fight within a uh, one to six meter radius, and they have lightning damage, and um, and they can cause impaired aim for thirty seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and bar buy one of those. And um, you can only usually use one of these in the counter, so there's no point in buying another one. And you're going to want to go ahead and put that on your uh, slot down here. And this is where you're going to put all of your slots. In order to go ahead and do that, you're just going to hit the right button, and then uh, anything that can go on a slot is going to come up here. So we'll go ahead and go back, and we're going to spend a moment. Uh, fighting, uh, we're going to go ahead and use our storm harpies and we're going to use it to fight these um, gorgons. And one of the things I raised while I'm fighting these gorgons is the my pet. And if you want to control your pet, you can click on it and it can tell you where you want him to, sh to uh, fight. And it will do that for you. And just like that, 
and we are going to, it will show you the expa expa uh, experience gained as you hit. And we will go ahead and kill this other one over here. And we have, and we have a bunch of different uh, uh, things we can use. Right now I'm going to use um, a uh, vowel standard, which will uh, allow us to uh, have extra um, powers. And so we'll do that. And now I'm going to just start picking up my loot and we'll do that until we are overburdened and it will tell you you're overburdened and we'll drop your, your, um, your, uh, item and we'll go back and we will, uh, go ahead and start selling and, um, the, uh, the things we will sell is, um, we will go to, oh, too far. Oh, while I'm here, these are the rebirth fountains. If you click on them, they are past them. Um, they will uh, go ahead and that's where you will rebirth when you die or when you start over. So we can, um, right now we have two, uh, two backpacks. You will have the chance to earn a third backpack as time goes on. If you want to sort them, you can hit auto sort and that will sort them and uh, you can see we have our money here and uh, we can go ahead and um, next go to our caravan which will have all our storage we have our storage area which is the private storage area where you don't get to transfer that to other characters you can expand that once you have a hundred thousand dollars and um, then a hundred and five hundred thousand dollars and then that's as large as you can get you also have this transfer area where you will have all your other items that will you can share with other characters and as you can see we have red ones which are ones that we cannot use and we have uh, blue ones which are the extra special ones um, green ones are the next ones up yellows are the next one or it's the next ones down and then yellows are even less than that and then you have your common ones which are white and broken ones which are gray and the nice things about uh, we have these things called relics and for uh, you can't use them for the green or the blue but for the yellow and the lower ones and I don't even know why you would use it for the lower ones but you could you can use these relics so you have these things called essences which are you need five of them to make a complete essence and you will um, once you have five of them you will have not only the original uh, item uh, the item um, trait but you will have actually an extra trait and that will vary so you can see this one has 10 percent uh, uh, fire essence and this one has 50 percent chance of 9 to 30 piercing retaliation but for the regular one it's the same it's so 12 percent chance of 100 percent damage reflection and next we have our these all have different names and again these well these will take three instead of five of the items in order to make a full one you will get these along the way and um, one thing to note about this game is that for the most part everything only drops from particular ones that make sense from so uh, swords will only drop from animals or characters or monsters that can do swords these boars can only, hides can only drop from war hides, bat fangs from bat fangs, etc. Um, these essences can drop more randomly, but that's the only really exception. And then we have these arcane formulas, which I'll show you how to make in just a minute. And um, we have, what they will make is these, um, these uh, four side, four, uh, uh, these things that take up four slots and they are going to have a whole bunch of um, different things that they can use or that they do and each artifact has a different uh, artifact has a different um, different uh, items that they can do and then they have a completion bonus which will change between the, each one so we will go ahead and go over to the uh, artifact guy which is this enchanter and he's got this lightning bolt over his head and you what you do is you would put this um, 
arcane formula, and then you need a reagent, uh, the different reagents, which are the um, different, um, which are the different, um, see, but this one is actually a uh, special arcane extra form, so a high, or a formula, which you would actually need other arcane formulas, and it'll show you what you need down here. So this one, you need a sky fire pendant, the Song of the Serpent, and you would need one of these Tortured Souls. So once you put those in there, you can go ahead and create Artifact, and you will create the Artifact. You can also go ahead and um, use the Altar of Separation if you wanted to go ahead and put one in here and get back your items. I've never done it, so I don't know if you get the uh, actual artifact envelope back. I imagine not, but I don't know for sure. Um, so uh, if you wanted to create relics, you would go ahead and um, take the take these out, and uh, we don't have one to create right now, but um, you would take, oh, I do. So you go ahead and take one out and go ahead and open your inventory with the eye and you right click and you put it in and you get your full, this one has a full venom sack and I get uh, 45 points of damage over three seconds and 55, 54 reduced armor over three seconds. So now I can just put these back in the relic vault um, and you might want to start putting them together so you can kind of find them, but that's a little bit tricky as you get on. And for uh, we'll go back and go back. We'll go back to the cellar. Stop. There we go. And you can get rid of the things by right clicking. And um, this is a special item that cannot be sold. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it does, to be quite honest. But it is uh, a just a letter. So I don't know if it does anything special or if it's just a part of the lore. But um, and maybe someone can tell me in the uh, in the uh, comments if they have any idea. And then, um, so we will also next go to the mystic, who will the goal of him is to take away our uh, our our traits that skills that um, we no longer want because we no longer find it was useful. So to, in order to give us skills. We come up to this uh, skill window or hit the S button and we will go ahead and um, have seven unused skills. There are two masteries in here and you get to click on one mastery and then I, it's either seven or eight that you get the second mastery and you can choose different masteries, um, any combination and it will give you a special name. And certain ones go along better than others. Um, you can kind of, if you want to play around. Unfortunately, once you select it, um, the um, two masteries and put points in them, you can't go back. You would just have to start over. But um, we can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and add these skill points, which as you add them up, will give you higher levels of skill points in order to um, have the mastery. And um, for this one, um, we need three additional skill points. And as you see, now I can use this, um, these two, uh, two, um, two skill points. And so this one here is an attack aimed at the enemy's legs, reduces their ability to run, increases their vulnerability for a short duration. And it has an eight defense percent de boost, boost, reduced defensive ability for three seconds, sixteen reduced armor for sixteen for six seconds, and ten percent slower movers for five seconds. So we'll go ahead and uh, give this one just for as a new one. And so now we've added our point, and then we can, if we wanted to, we can continue to add one to the more faster me more mastery we can add it to another one of these that we already have or we can add it to the earth mastery and i'll go ahead and add one to ring of fire which encircles me in a ring of flames and burns all enemies that come in a uh, radius and we'll go ahead and use that and then we can use the mystic and if we want to get rid of a point and um, say i didn't want i uh, want this earth 
this earth enchantment I and uh, which one was it there was one in here this uh, flame surge I found it was not useful um, so I will go ahead and I found this barrage that also was not useful so I can click click on it and hit the left key and it'll take away and as you can see the cost per point will go up and I'll get more unskilled use, use skill points back so now I have five unused skill points and each cost per point went up and so um, we will uh, go ahead and also things that you can change while you're in combat is you can change your weapons if you have two weapons um, right now I only have one, but you hit the W key. If you want to add a second weapon, you would hit in your inventory and you would hit this one over here. So I guess I do have a second weapon, just wasn't obvious. Um, I'm not obviously using it anymore because I don't need it, but um, in the beginning, uh, especially if you use, uh, especially, well, in the beginning, it's pretty useful to use both a melee and a long range weapon until you get more established. So, and we will go back and we will go to um, the next, the next where we are. And one thing I wanted to show you is uh, we have this button here and this, uh, this red button. Um, this is the only show, this is, um, so it doesn't load everything in the whole game, but it does load big maps. So you do have a lot of it. Um, and so, um, and then, uh, that red button there just shows that you've come into a cave. So when you've come into the caves, those are not shown on the screen. And so, uh, full screen. So, and then one last thing is when you are ready to uh, do a quest, you'll see this green or kind of yellowish, uh, exclamation part. You can hit enter, you can click on it and it'll give you... Uh, the uh, either the quest or the end of the quest and if you want to pull up which quest you're on you can hit the Q button and you can hit um, side quests to find out which ones you've done and which ones you haven't done which ones you might want to go back to and see if you've missed so those are all of the basic and not so basic um, other than this majestic chest which you'll get when you've fought big monsters those are the big, the big um, skills and ideas that you will need for your game. Um, so hopefully you will go ahead and if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and go leave them in the comments. Hopefully this has been helpful and we'll have other videos um, in, along the way so that um, they, I do them for um, Solas Crafting, I do them for more Titan Quest movie, uh, videos and um, Fallout 4 and other videos as we go along. So thank you for watching and we will uh, be doing more videos in the future.